George McGovern in 2007 on Larry King's program at the time, Larry King Live, George McGovern went on, uh, it was during Gerald Ford's uh, uh, death, and Larry King was doing a lot of tribute shows to Jerry Ford. George McGovern said for the first time that he voted for Jerry Ford over, yeah, I know, over Jimmy Carter. He voted for the man who pardoned the man that beat him in the election. Mm -hmm. He, and he said his wife did also and his kids did also. He said he voted for Carter again when he ran an 80 against Reagan, but he Surprise voted for something. Ford. Go ahead, Pardon? I'm sorry. Go ahead. I have to tell you something I've never said before publicly. I voted for him in 1976. What? When he, yes, I did. And uh, at Thanksgiving dinner that year, I never said anything about this to Eleanor or to our five children, but I told him at Thanksgiving time I had voted for President Ford, even though he lost. Uh, and I told him why, because I thought he had come in at a difficult time. I didn't know President Carter uh, very well then, uh, and that I just felt more comfortable somehow with uh, Jerry Ford, whereupon my wife Elner said, so did I vote for him. We went around that table. This is hard to believe. All five of my kids uh, voted for him. So they got seven votes out of the McGovern uh, family for uh, President Ford and uh, Senator Dole, my longtime Republican uh, friend. I voted for Carter uh, again in, uh, in 1980. So with my brand of political luck, I voted against Carter when he won. I voted for him when he lost. But I can justify a, both of those votes. What a great What do you story. make? Uh, that's that's big because you. I don't think you would have that today. No. I don't think. I don't think for a second that a Democrat, vice versa, or Republican mm -hmm. would come out and forgive and admit, openly admit to voting for the other party. No, that's unheard of. But uh, it did take a lot of courage. I would think he probably got a lot of criticism from his party maybe i don't know well, he also said he was going to raise taxes and that's the reason he lost he that was one of the first things he did in his acceptance speech at the convention i was there yeah he, he's an interesting guy and i think he'll be i think he will be remembered as a guy who crossed the aisle and i'm glad we got a chance to remember george mcgovern uh, dead at 90. this